long ago, food was grown with awareness, cooked with intention, eaten with mindfulness. Have we so quickly forgotten that bread is life? For centuries, wisdom keepers around the world have sworn to preserve and protect the recipes and rituals of their ancestors. Ceremonies blessing the land, rites immortalizing the living, feasts summoning the dead. I'm Shannon Crane. Eight years ago, I left behind culinary fame. I was in this high pressure food world where the kitchen lacked any sort of reverence. To embark on a journey into the forbidden and the forgotten. I don't think there was any aspect of my life that did not involve spirituality. You know, us modern day Westerners tend to forget that. Lifting the veil on never before seen practices long shrouded in mystery and intrigue. We get representations of personal sacrifice that frequently paper would be soaked in the king's blood. Come along as I unlock the mysteries of secret temples and tombs, lands and kitchens untouched by time. This is not only the sacredness of the ingredients, but also the many women that have left their labor, heart and sweat. Because it's not only about eating, but it's about knowing what you're eating and where you come from. Hands down the best truffle I've ever had. It's this spicy but not hot. Little tiny uh, river shrimp in chocolate sauce. Let us nourish our bodies, minds, and spirits with the healing power of sacred foods.